Jason Dot Golf back at the Golf Industry Show, and uh, we're at the booth with uh, Kafka Granite out of Mosini. And as you see on the sign there, uh, Kafka Granite was involved in uh, uh, laying down some of the material for the walking paths at Aaron Hills. And we're joined now by the owner, Glenn Kafka. And Glenn, I'm fascinated by what you've done for golf in Wisconsin very subtly. You know, thousands of golfers have walked the trails at, Whist at Aaron Hills, and you've done stuff at, at uh, Whistling Straits. But let's talk first about Aaron Hills and uh, in, in the sign behind you. What you did to, uh, you know, make uh, the walking paths there more attractive, more functional. Well, they had an issue with their pathways washing out because they're Irish course and they're very steep in spots. So they were having their pathways wash out. They have actually called Chris Zugel from Whistling Straits, and then Chris told him about me and a product that I had with the wax polymer here, which is this product here. And um, so I went and met Zach, and uh, Zach showed me some of his fescue grass and, and some limestone. He said, can you match this color? And I said, sure. So I went back and I whipped some up in the lab and brought it back to him. He says, that's great. So bring me some. So it ended up bringing him, in a course of five, six years, I think they put in over a thousand ton of uh, of this material and redid all their pathways. And uh, it's been wonderful for them. It completely eliminated their wash problems. And uh, it was very, uh, wasn't slippery. Right. They could walk on it steep without slipping and it had a natural feel. So uh, they, they love it and they've been great customers and a great advocate for Kafka Granite. And, and so as I zoom in on, on the, the, the product that you use, it's a, a polymer pathway mix. Mm -hmm. So what's all in there and, and, and how, does it, how, how does it avoid mm -hmm. that washout? It's a, uh, a, a product about a quarter minus, crushed down to a quarter minus. It's a sand, a limestone sand this happens to be, sure. do dolomite actually. Questions? And uh, we mix it with a wax polymer at a high heat and, and uh, blend it really well. So all the particles are covered so that when you put, uh, when you add water on it, it'll actually beat up like you see here. Sure. So it'll, it'll beat up and it won't penetrate it. Wow. <clears throat> so it will not wash. And also when you hit a golf ball and you, when you throw it on, when it lands on the stuff, it doesn't bounce. Wow. It's, it absorbs the, the impact of the ball. That's amazing. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so it's been a very popular uh, product for us. And, since then, we've been working with uh, Chris Zugel at uh, Whistling Straits on some of this bunker sand. Yes. Yeah. This, this actually consists of 50% uh, of their crushed toilets out of their landfill. Wow. So he likes to recy recycle their products there. So we use some of their slags and, and uh, some of their waste uh, porcelain. Also, Billy Bunker did some work there as well. We crushed uh, some more porcelain here. Uh, so he did some of the sand traps as well with the Billy Bunker mix and it ended up working excellent for him And they liked that recycled value well in, in, in Recycled product. I mean that's it, it's it's their signature it, stuff. That, exactly. That's that otherwise is just sitting there going to waste So not only can they put it back into their pathways, but they can put it into their bunkers as well So this here is a, a bunker here that they you can see where it washed steady every time they get a rain this is after two inches of rain. He sent me this picture one morning and and uh, said that it's to this day it's still just like that. They never touched it. So, wow! So it holds up really well. And we've seen, especially with our high-end courses in Wisconsin, you know, uh, kind of return to walking courses with caddies, and with that, it means less asphalt on the golf courses for golf, for cart paths and more of a traditional look. And that's Correct. probably where you enter the picture, right? Yes, a natural product. Yes, that's amazing. Not always less expensive than asphalt or concrete sure but uh not a lot more but it's the simplicity of laying it you may literally rake it and walk on it and this is what it's done you can hand tamp it you can lay it with a paver if you like and roll it but no need to and and so your company out of Mosini specializes in this i i assume though you you do a lot more than just help out golf courses when they need to put a path in, yes. right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, we crush uh, 60 different colors of aggregates. Okay. So we have a array of colors. Sure. Uh, we do bridge overlays for uh, DOT work. Oh. Um, you know, we do a lot of different projects uh, from ball diamonds to, to golf courses to uh, uh, concrete uh, products for decorative concrete purposes, decorative precast. We're into a lot of different. Uh, well, all in the 
mainly into the decorative end of, end of things. Amazing. The decorative aggregates. Amazing. You never know what you're going to find at a golf industry show, nope. especially from Mosley, Wisconsin. Correct. Glenn, appreciate your time. You bet. Thank you.